Hello, my name is Corey Conth, Dr. Corey Conth, and I'll be your instructor throughout this term. I'm happy to welcome you to ECO 540, Game Theory and Industrial Organization here at Southern New Hampshire University. Over the next 10 weeks, we will be examining game theory, which is the theory of strategic interaction. Game theory is one of the ways in which strategic choices of economic agents support utility maximization, or in the case of firms, profit maximization. Game theory, in the form that economists think about this, was given its first general mathematical formulation by John von Neumann and Oscar Morgenstern way back in 1944. But since the 1970s, game theory has been an increasingly important tool used to analyze situations in which one agent's optimal choice depends upon expectations regarding actions of other agents and vice versa. John Nash was given the Nobel Prize in economics for his work in game theory. John Nash's life was dramatized in the movie starring Russell Crowe named Beautiful Mind, and you might have seen that. In that dramatization, one of the foundational um, insights that Nash was to have arrived at is depicted on centering on a situation where multiple males are vying for one female. So you can see this is a theory of strategic interaction. Examples of game theoretic reasoning abound all about you. You might, for instance, use game theory when you advance a salary offer by calculating what your prospective employer might offer in response. As another more abstruse um, example, in Shakespeare's Henry V, during the Battle of Agincourt, Henry slaughters French prisoners in full view of the enemy to the surprise of his subordinates. At that point, the English appear to have taken advantage over the French and they have cap captured many French soldiers and noblemen. But the battle is not quite over as many of the French continue to fight and there is a sudden stir and cry which the king, King Henry, interprets as a rally by the French. He abruptly orders every English soldier to kill his French prisoners. A game theorist might understand that Henry's own troops observe his ruthlessness and know that a similar fate will await them at the hands of the enemy should they not be victorious. You can thus see that there is a wide application for game theoretics. Economists developed this primarily as a means of understanding the behavior of firms in oligopolistic environments or situations in which firms have market powers, power <laughs> and conditions of perfect competition do not hold. We will investigate models of static and dynamic games plus the use of game theory in negotiations, voting, conflict resolution, and pricing decisions. Introducing the con context of game theory, we will look at firm, con firm conduct and economic performance. You might recognize this as the structure conduct performance paradigm. Upon completion of this course, you will be able to um, analyze static and dynamic games to determine their likely outcomes. You'll also be able to identify opportunities for a firm to maximize profit in strategic business in strategic business situations and evaluate the, the implications of imperfect information when one party knows certain things the other doesn't, 
upon economic decisions. You will also be able to determine which aspects of market power and structure impact a firm's strategic decisions, such as pricing and other activities. Lastly, you will come to understand the array of regulatory tools used to evaluate and address market failures related to excessive power on the part of firms. With this being said, I hope you enjoyed this, for this course. Please feel free and very welcome to contact me. I'm here to assist you, and I look forward to assisting you. I hope that you will enjoy this course.